אני אוהב, אני אוהב את הקודש ברוך הוא, אני אוהב, אני אוהב את הקודש ברוך הוא, כל היום, כל היום, כל היום, כל היום אני אוהב. Good evening and welcome to Masterpiece Jewish Theater with Rebecca and the Rabbi. Gee, thanks for coming over, Rebecca, to watch Slides of My Life instead of that boring Super Bowl. Of course. Ready for the slides? <laughs> um, yeah, but put away that clunky old-fashioned device. I have a new app on my cell phone which will click the slides right along. Oh, I'm sorry, Avi. I was trying to change the uh, slides. Alright, sorry, it won't happen again, sorry. Here I am as a young boy. It's a proof of me, the rough draft. This is when I joined the Navy when I was six, but my parents uh, vetoed the idea. There I am, ready to go to camp. In those days, they shipped the child off for two months in the summer while the parents uh, enjoyed themselves. There I am by the pool, Rebecca. Ah, yes. Yeah. I was a man of leisure in those days. The pool was in Florida. We lived in, in New England, which was complicated. But uh, I wanted to show you my bar mitzvah pictures. Here I am as a promising young um, Jew, I guess. Mm-hmm. The um, This is a temple in Wellesley. And then later on, this was, of course, at the pulpit, we had the party. And there I am. What do you think, huh? Good looking. Thank you. Notice the tie. Yes. Here I am in the 1976 Winter Olympics. I came in the 28th place. <laughs> now let's fast forward to my college graduation. There I am with my diploma. There I am on top of a rock looking for the meaning of life. Here I am, Rebecca's reporter on Cape Cod. <laughs> interviewing, uh, you see the notebook in my left hand um, and I'm interviewing a shell fisherman and his wife they were shellfish farmers it was a hard interview because the shellfish just clammed up ha <laughs> ha thank you <laughs> <laughs> your beard You know, the principles of divine providence are such that each person has their unique station in life. Born into a certain family, certain neighborhood, go to certain schools, certain talents, certain drives, certain instincts. And the soul is sent in to those particulars in order for the person to bring out soulfulness in life into all of their different experiences. You know, it's very interesting, the Torah reading that contains the Mount Sinai experience opens with a character named Yisro coming to join the Jewish people as a convert, as a transformed life. And he was the high priest of popular culture. And he was able to utilize all of that skill, talent, knowledge that he had in order to bring spirituality to the world. Examples of this abound, beautiful flowers for the Shabbos table. A friend of mine who's a school teacher keeps a charity box in her desk. Whenever she has some spare change, she opens the drawer and drops some right into the charity box. In driving, stuck in traffic, well, how about a CD of Jewish study? Here you have one called A Career in Happiness. Here you have one called Empowering My Jewish Identity. A Taste of the Mystical. Revolutionary Spirituality. All of these, by the way, are on sale in our bookshop for $9.99. My personal favorite travels through Jewish history with barrel wine. There's many ways of transforming things. One can transform, for example, a frown into a smile. Transformation, that's the power of Jewish spirituality. 
you know, I like to write, so I started keeping a blog, a rabbi's blog, which uh, expresses Jewish spiritual thought and shares it with others. Ugh. Anyone know how to download this onto the, uh, the blog site? I love you, 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 I love you,